It's February 17th, 2012. I'm Curtis Hollister, and you're watching The Quarter on Investor Candy TV. Whether you're an existing shareholder or just a fan in the stands of Toronto-based Queenston Mining, trading under the symbol QMI on the TSX, you're happy to see the ball moving a lot closer to the end zone with yesterday's announcement regarding the company's Upper Beaver Exploration property. Joining me today is CEO Charles Page. Charles, welcome to the show. Thanks, Curtis. Glad to be here. So a pretty major announcement uh, yesterday regarding the Upper Beaver property. You know, what exactly did you guys announce and what does this mean for the company and shareholders? Well, what we announced, Curtis, yesterday was the results of a preliminary economic assessment. It really looks at developing a, a new gold mine on one of our properties in the Kirkland Lake Gold Camp located in northeastern Ontario, where we're looking to produce 120,000 ounces of gold annually and 5.3 million pounds of copper over an initial mine life of, of 10, 10 years. And in terms of what this development means to the company, it's, it's really been a, a leap of faith for us. I've been involved in this company for 20 years. I've moved along uh, from the exploration stage. And this is really a move forward for us into the bigger leagues. People can view us now as potentially being a, a new gold producer or a junior gold producer on the horizon. And this study really is a de-risking process going forward towards a feasibility study and ultimately production. So yeah, there's only a handful of companies that are obviously at this stage, especially within the Canadian jurisdiction. You know, what were the key numbers out of the PEA that, um, that the board you know, wanted to move forward and, and, and push on? Really, it's, it's, it's the economics in, in terms of the, the cash flow model we generated in this project. Um, we're looking at uh, production costs in the order of $73 per ton. Uh, which equates to just under $400 per ounce of gold produced. And current gold prices, as you know, are trading around $1,700. So there's potentially quite a large profit margin in that area. In terms of the capital cost in building this thing, we're looking in the order of $240 million. It's reasonable. It's not a huge number at this point in time. And looking at the cash flow model also, it shows a very attractive internal rate of return using a $1,275 gold price and a $3 copper price of around 26% IRR on the project. So based on all those positive numbers, uh, we felt it's, it's, it's a no brainer to move this thing forward to the next level. And the next level here is towards feasibility. And the next step in the feasibility process really is looking at starting to sink a shaft, a brand new shaft on the Upper Beaver project, mm. which we're gonna begin doing that work uh, this year in 2012. So let's talk a little bit about that timeline. You've got, you, you're, you're gonna start to work on, on the shaft basically as soon as possible, moving towards a bankable feasibility study. When do you expect to have that done? And I, if you had your way in the world, when would you be in production with this asset? Yes, moving forward, uh, we're, we've been doing baseline studies, environmental work, uh, having uh, engagements with the First Nations in the area. We're looking to have the permits in place to advance to the next stage, which is shaft sinking, probably with, by the summer. Uh, in terms of actually breaking ground, we're going to have site preparation starting in the fall of this year. And actually breaking ground on the shaft will be early in 2013. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, and, 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 and from the point of view of production, are we talking 2015, 2016? At this point in time, we're looking in uh, both the middle of 2016. Now, the, the, the market didn't kind of jump out of its chair for this announcement. Is that because it was basically a foregone conclusion that this is a quality asset and you'd probably be moving forward with this PEA? Or have they just not appreciated kind of the, the, the gravity of, of what you guys have announced? Well, I, I, certainly from the calls I've had today from our shareholders and various analysts that cover the company, it's very positive news for the company to advance us towards this stage of development. It puts us in a different league. A little disappointed in the share price, but, you know, in today's economic climate, it's not surprising. Uh, I can see uh, us moving forward as I get out in the street. I'm beating the street uh, next week in in the U.S. and ultimately in the U.K. as well to really get the story told out there. I think it has to be explained to them that, hey, we're a new, new player on the camp and uh, we've got a great asset here that's going to be very profitable. Now, one of the things within your press release, you're mentioning the fact that there's some um, ambiguity around the capacity and the actual location of your milling facility that would go in conjunction with this asset. You guys are pretty heavily uh, placed within the Kirkland Lake area. Um, is, is, do you want something that's going to be servicing all of those different assets? Is that the, is that the game plan? 
Well, we're blessed in having a large land package there, and we put that together when nobody else was interested in this part of the world. Uh, what that allows us to do is look at more than one project. We have about five deposits in our portfolio, mm -hmm. all would have existing resources. The, the long-term plan is, yes, build a central milling facility that can service all these facilities, but we're not at that stage yet. We cannot explain to people how many tons and ounces from each project, but our most advanced project is the Upper Beaver. We wanted to come out with a standalone operation to give a people a kind of a sense. So this is really going to be our first mine and the mill would be built specifically for the Upper Beaver, but have expansion capacity and that capability to add more tons from some of these uh, satellite deposits as we own 100% as well. And, and obviously from the point of view of moving to production, you guys have been adding some bench strength from the point of view of management. Can you speak a little bit to uh, some of those additions and, and what they're going to mean in, uh, for the company? Yeah, we made a bold move, really, uh, in hiring a, a key person that's going to build this mine for us. Uh, Philip Bing is a chief operating officer, came from a company that's been producing gold in Canada for a number of years. He's built mines. He is going to be our key man on the project. He, we got him engaged on January 1st of this year. And at this point in time, he's building a significant team around him to take this to the next level. And you're going to see some development work on the project, like I said, beginning this summer in terms of breaking ground. Great, great. Charles, thanks so much for your time. Best of luck on this project. Thanks, Curtis. Thanks, thanks for having me. If you'd like more information on Queenston, you can visit queenston.ca. If you'd like more videos from public issuers, you can visit Investor Candy TV. I'm Curtis Hollister. Thanks so much for watching The Quarter.